fixing to go outside and start doing chores, but you know what it's doing? Yeah, that's raining cats and dogs out there. It is crazy. This is like four days in a row. We aren't going to know what to do with all this water. <laughs> of course, this is a place that it dumps off my roof. That's why this looks so like a lot of water. But if you look out that way, that's more what it's actually doing. But still, we've had a lot of water this past week. Harry here with High Sun Grows, bringing you Farmer Friday. I'm a little bit later than to milk than I have been. You feel a touch warm, Mrs. Marilda. Is it just me? Um. So what's been going on this week? Been one heck of a week. I had my little farmer boy on Friday. No, on Saturday, Sunday, Monday. And uh, had a good time with him. He's spotted the big hairy tarantula and played around and stuff. Um, the, the car has needed uh, a major tune-up and to have uh, the radiator fan worked on, I don't know, it's fan, fan assembly, so I'm not sure exactly what it was. It wasn't cheap. <laughs> I can't, I can't complain too much though because I have been driving this car since, well, a little bit in 2015 and then after 2016 it was my main car and uh, we've mostly just done oil changes, a battery, a headlight and, not, and, and a couple tires and not really a whole lot of other stuff to it so um it was time it was time to um do a little work on it um but that was not an expected expense so um there went part of my little nest egg to work on the electricity and the roof on the house so it's like one thing or another thing, right? Um, and then, um, what else has happened? Anyway, that, that took, um, several days to get fixed. In the meantime, it tried to overheat on me. I think we have a little pinhole in our bucket. Yep. I think so. Unless I just squirted it by accident. I'll have to watch that. Okay. Anyway. So anyway, that was kind of crazy. And then, um, one day Digger was rolled over for me to scratch his belly. And I realized he had a good collection of fleas in his armpits. And I did have some, um, front line drops that I put on him. And when I checked a couple days later, there were still some fleas. So I found the flea spray. Um, I'm not seeing him really scratching too much yesterday or today. But I haven't looked at him closely yet. So I need to do that. So that if, uh, if he does still have fleas, I'll have to get something else. Um, cause the front line was a little bit old and I couldn't find like an expiration date or anything on the package. So I don't know. Anyway, um, what else? It's been raining. We have had a fair amount of rain this past week, like almost a normal monsoon. I'm like, wow, what happened? Um, I've gotten kind of used to never having any rain <laughs> and it rained and it's been kind of crazy of course it comes down really fast and hard and like this yesterday and today it only rained maybe 15 20 minutes but it's coming down sideways and in that time i'm getting like a half an inch rain and a lot of it is running off so um 
But it does show me places around the yard and stuff where I could make some improvements um, for water holding and slowing the water down for um, next year. I don't expect it will, a lot will happen this year, but maybe over the winter and next spring we can I can get some things done and um, slow the water down a little bit more, get it directed towards productive areas instead of running down the driveway. Um, part of that is just the way my land lays, the way my house and my pathways and things are are things that I can't really change, so I'm just going to have to work around them and figure some stuff out. Um, the uh, grasshoppers and June bugs or Japanese beetles have been doing a number on the tomatoes, so I've been having to pick them as soon as they start to turn because... Um, Otherwise, the bugs are chewing big holes in them, and then they split and rot and get disgusting. So, I'll have to see if I can find my weight records from last year, but I don't think that this has been as good a year for tomatoes as last year was. Um, so... But the season's not over yet either, so we'll just have to wait and see what else happens. Are you done, miss? Okay. Anyway, been kind of a crazy week. Oh, we need some fly spray. Um, just trying to keep uh, everybody fed and watered and now muck and pins because it's because they're all full of mud. Poor Bashful and and uh, Bentley both have big old puddles because uh, their ground's so hard packed and it doesn't drain and everything just sits there. And I have not been able to get over there and muck their, uh, them out yet. Maybe this weekend, I don't know. It's never enough hours in a day. Um, got some pretty flowers, some little dahlias. There's a really cool purple dahlia. I'm saving that one. I want to see if I can, if I can multiply that one because it is really pretty. These are little bedding dahlias, the little short ones that I grew from seeds. And uh, there's a really bright, a couple of really bright yellow ones couple of orange ones and then this beautiful purple one um let's see what else oh the pumpkin buns have begun running over everything <laughs> there's uh about three vines in the top of a compost pile uh that I planted because letting the vines grow on the compost like that, when when they're done, they die back and I go to use that compost, it is almost always super amazing. It'll be full of earthworms and it'll be very finely textured and uh, do really good in my seed starting mixes and things. Um, but I also had planted some in my little back garden and those are starting to run everywhere and run over the zucchinis and everything else. So I planted a mixture of orange and white ones. There might have also been a couple of green splotch sorts so we will see what we get <laughs> um, be, just kind of be fun to have some different colors and sizes and shapes of pumpkins what else um, 
We've had some of the, oh, I know what else there was. Sunday morning, I was out working in the little greenhouse garden. If you didn't see the video, I'll link it. Um, <laughs> and uh, I, I was in the driveway potting up some plants into bigger pots and I was carrying them into the greenhouse garden space and I could see the back end of a diamondback rattlesnake. So I knew it was there and as I set the pot down it heard me and whipped around and coiled up and started rattling and hissing at me. Um, and then I um, went and got the water hose, turned the pressure up a little bit more and blasted it with the hose. And I have not seen it since, but I have been trying to uh, do some extra cleanup and weeding and stuff in that area because it was pretty thick and overgrown with some periwinkle and some weeds and the old weed trees and things. So I have that space opened up. Um, there's more to do everywhere, but I got that much done. <laughs> oh, just never enough hours in a day. So I'm just trying to think of what else has been going on. Told you about the car. It's mine. Does. There are still way too many squirrels. Um, just... Probably too many to even trap out, but I'm gonna keep. I need to reset the trap. It's just like, okay, where am I gonna set it? Because they're like from one end of the place to the other. Um, so, try and set it someplace where I have the best chance of catching the most of them, I guess. What? I do not have any more calf mana. We are out. Hello. Hello. I had been giving her calf mana when she was real scruffy looking and stuff. And uh, now that we're on the mineral buffet and, and we're looking so gorgeous and sleek and shiny, she probably doesn't really need it, but now she wants it. Of course, she might need some of the extra protein that's in it. The extra fat, but we're out, sister. Yep, we are out. So you're just gonna have to do without. Um, let's see, what else has been going on? The rain, the rain has been marvelous. I'll have to figure out um, how much rain we've got this past week. I know it's um, more than more than an inch. Um, so a lot of things are doing really good and growing really well. I've been getting a lot of little Japanese eggplants, um, and they're and they're all different colors. It's so cool. Some are green, some are long and dark purple. Um, one is kind of short and white, um, which I don't think is technically a Japanese style, but it's it's not as big as Black Beauties are. The big black eggplants you see at the grocery store but uh it is kind of shaped like that more than like a skinny japanese one and um and then some of them are kind of like white or a pale lavender streaked with darker lavender it's really pretty um will you knock it off don't be ornery um and then, um, just a lot of same old, same old, oh, other news. The little, um, some of the pullets that I had bought this year, um, a couple of them have started laying itty bitty little pullet eggs. So, hopefully they will get bigger eggs here pretty soon, because they're really really tiny right now they're like bantam size right now 
Will you quit? Quit. Bambi. You're just being ornery tonight. You are such a stinker some days. Yes, you are. You are such a stinker sometimes. Um. Oh. I can't think of what else. <laughs> it's like I sit down to do this and then my mind just goes kind of blank. It's like, okay, what happened this week? I don't remember. I've been turning in my ginormous compost pile. I really need more space <laughs> because uh, the this part at the end is still about 110, 115 degrees. And I'm just having to stack more on top of it. So hopefully I can get some more junk piles cleaned up and and make more compost piles. I don't know. <laughs> See. <laughs> I've also been what? What is that? What are you barking at? I don't know what he's barking at. see anything up there. What are you barking at, Digger? Huh? Well, now well, maybe in the creek. I don't know. What are you barking at? Oh, they have gate latches that work easy. What? What are you barking at? Huh? What are you barking at? What? Is there something in there? Huh? You want to go in your kennel? Is that what you want? I don't know what you're barking at, do you? Just a minute, Bambi. Okay. I don't know. Well, I don't have any clue what he was barking at. Um, he will bark like that at lots of things. Deer dogs, cats, so I have no idea what it was. I did not see anything, which if it's a coyote or something, they're really hard to see up on the hill with the brush, so I haven't really seen any coyotes lately. I think maybe they've gone higher up, perhaps. Or maybe they're just, since it's so hot in the daytime, maybe they're just out mostly after dark instead of morning and evening like they were in the winter. Sometimes in the winter they'd be out at, you know, 2 or 3 o'clock in the afternoon. But right now, 2 or 3 o'clock in the afternoon, it's 100 and something degrees. So I'm sure they're laid up someplace nice and cool that time of day. Um, yeah, been, been trying to keep up and clean up, and I mean, it always looks like I didn't do anything, but I really have done some things. It's just that, like today, the big old windstorm with the rain blew up, uh, there was a milk crate, a lightweight milk crate with um, some pots and things in it sitting out and bam they're all over the driveway so they'll have to get picked up at some point and you know just things like that and because it's been warm and the weeds are growing like crazy now with all the rain so I've been trying to pull up the weeds at least along my pathways and things so if there is another rattlesnake I can see it easy um trying to get uh, more thinking about things for fall it's like 
when you're gardening, you gotta be thinking three to six months ahead of time because you have to plan for um, getting things um, started at the right times and stuff. And I had a couple of seed trays in the house under the light and my house has been invaded by a whole herd of mice. There are, are way too many of them. They're in every room and they're quite bold. So, um, that's just way too many snap traps to deal with. So, I did just go buy some bait. Because when there's that many of them in all the rooms and stuff, it's more than I can keep up with with the snap traps. And then sometimes they won't, won't go in the traps. So, um, so... I do um, only use the poison bait in the house, and I do only put it in, you know, dark corners and under and behind things where if my grandson comes, he's not going to find one and play with it or anything. Um, and that way, too, the mice generally just die in the house. Now, it does mean next week my house is going to stink like dead mice, but that's better than having them chewing holes in all the food and my dishcloths and my clothes in my dresser and stuff like that, which is what they've been doing. Anyhow, they um, tore up all my seed trays, which is what they'll do. They go and dig in the dirt and they eat the seeds and the little seedlings and things. So... Um, once I, once it seems like I've got them cleared out, I will start seeding some more. Um, this time of year, this is a good time to start, like, long-term, uh, crops like Brussels sprouts, um, your longer cabbages and broccolis and things. If you can get them started in July, August, they will usually be making heads um, by fall before we start freezing up too hard. If you get them in later, then what happens is they kind of sit there and just grow slowly over the winter. And then as soon as it starts warming up in the spring, they they start exploding and and making their heads and stuff like that and uh i'll have to go back and look and see when i started the cabbages last year because the cabbages grew really really well and uh in the five gallon buckets and up in in one of the garden spaces so um do I may not plant as many cabbages this year as I had last year. I am going to try and grow more broccoli and cauliflower and a few less cabbages. So we'll see what happens because sometimes it's a matter of, it's a matter of, uh, how, how good was germination and how did the, how did the plants grow and do I do not know what he is after over there. What? Are you after the cat? Tink is cat walking. Yes, we see you, Tinker Cat. And Egress decided that since it was just Tinker Cat, he's just going to go back to chewing on his bone. What you doing, Tinker Cat? What are you doing up there? Huh? Are you surveying the kingdom? Yeah. Just waiting for a tasty morsel to pass by, huh? Yeah. <laughs> what are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing, Bambi? 
You're trying to eat my hair. You're just such an itchy girl. Yes, you are. What are you doing? Huh? Yeah? What? Huh? You want to finish your snack? No, i got to get the fish Mary off the bucket. Doing? What are you doing? Yeah. Hi. Hi. Alrighty. Time to cut into this great big porterhouse tomato. It's starting to get softened up. I don't want to let it go too long because it looks like we're getting a little rotty spot right there. So I'm going to cut that bad part off and see what the inside looks like um not sure how to tell but i'm really hoping that this shed snake skin belongs to one of my king snakes and not a rattlesnake in here inside this chicken house Are you being a good boy? What you think, Bashful? Huh? What you think, buddy? A minute ago, Bashful was kind of blubbering at Digger, kind of pushing at him, almost like he would a dough in heat or something, or maybe another male showing dominance or something. I'm not sure. But, uh, a lot of times, there we go, like that. A lot of times, Bashful will move away from the dog very quickly. He was not being thrilled about the dog. And this is really the first time Digger's, like, really come in the pen in quite a while. I don't usually let him come in because Bashful was very leery of him. It looks like Bashful's going to assert himself now. Unfortunately, Digger's kind of stuck because uh, his leash is running under that gate. <laughs> Okay, boys, can I get out of here now? Hi, Bashful. Hey, go, bud. Oh, that's a good boy. Oh, that's a good boy. Yeah. Okay, but you're going to get tangled up in the dog. Yeah. Okay. Hold on. Hold on. Whoa. Okay. They said it was going to rain. They didn't say nothing about gale force winds and sideways rain. Um, I've, it was hot and muggy and it started to sprinkle and I just figured it was probably going to fizzle out, but then shazam. Yep. In like 15 minutes, I got half an inch of rain, probably more than that because, uh, that rain was coming down almost horizontal there for a few minutes.
What are you doing over there, Joy? Yeah, what are you doing? Huh? Oh, Bean, be nice to that baby. Be nice to that baby. Bambi. I guess I better go get her out of there before she gets hurt.